Hey folks, it's Rithka here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. There is our Cyclops out there waiting for our journey. We are going traveling very, very soon. I am first going to just have a quick bite to eat. Are we able to make nutrient blocks? It'd be a very, very cool thing if we were able to make nutrient blocks for this game. I would, I would very much like to be able to do that. Uh, it, it would just mean so much to me to be able to make nutrient blocks and then not have to worry about anything else. Before we go any further, we've got all of these um, different ones all the way around. I've got that uh, that Seamoth over there, and then I've got this one down here. That one over there doesn't really matter to me anymore because it, it's kind of died a death. But what I was told is going to need to go and have a look here in Beacon Manager, and I can do things like this. I can change the color of them. Uh, I can switch them off. Uh, so look, we've got the Cyclops. That one can... I think we'll have that one as yellow. And then that one there is going to be yellow a minute. And if I just come out now, which one is yellow? That one is yellow. Right, so then that one over there, I'm going to switch that one off. I can't see it any longer. It's gone. So the Cyclops and the Seamoth are yellow. Then our Beacon Cave Wreck Island Mushroom Beacon 1 is home. That one is going to be orange. We're going to have orange for home. And I'm also going to have the life pod there orange as well. So they should be relatively simple to see where where, where oh, there it is there it is so it sort of shows up it sort of shows up there's both of them um maybe we could change i don't i, I, I don't actually know there doesn't seem to be a lot of difference between those two colors there um but now if i look through like right, signal aurora rendezvous point um that one's like stopped so i can i didn't actually realize that i can go back through and i can find the old life pods and get the old ones back as well which is really cool. That is something that is actually wickedly awesome. So I'm going to just turn off those camera drones there just to make life a little bit easier. We've got the proposed Degassi habitat there, 500 meters. The 250 meter one, I'm going to turn that one off now. And that's going to be about it. We don't really want the life pod 17 stranded near a cave system and under attack. Uh, we See, so we looked at that one. Yep, we found the others. So it's, we've got that proposed habitat that we want to go and look for. Signal uh, life pod 12 as well we want to go and look for. And CTO use life pod 500 meters down. There's another one that we want to go and look for. And then we've got the beacons as well. And I can rename them from here. This, this is just fantastic. I had no idea I had all of this stuff here. It's just brilliant. Something I would very much like to be able to do. Look in cooked food. See here. We've got all of this. It's, it's really nice having the, the cooked food. It's great. Um, I want to be able to make nutrient blocks. Can I make nutrient blocks? Please tell me that there will be a way for me to make a nutrient block. That would be very, very good. Um, I can't do that. A uh, Cyclops shield generator. Cool. Okay, we got. Uh, there's a lot of Cyclops upgrades there that we can do. Um, we're not going to worry about them at the moment. Um, oh, there was one thing I was thinking of making. Not the power cell. Power cell charger. Can I make that? Because I've got like a power cell on me that might be handy for charging. Where's a modification station? It's not in there. Storage. Uh, this vehicle upgrades there. Nope. Scanner room upgrades. Uh, it'll be down here in the base piece. What was those there? It was Cyclops... Oh no. No. It, it, I was just looking to see that. I thought there was something else there. Apparently if I take a thermal plant and I put that one near the hot spring and then I put the power transmitter near that, it means that I'll be able to power my base and then I'll, um, it's like a permanent supply of um, stuff. S stuff is the technical term. Power. Power is the, the other one that some 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 people uh, uh, can call it. Oh, I need rubies. Rubies for that one, so that one's out of the question. So let's go back. We're, we're ready to go. We've got everything that we need, but before we do that, there's one more thing. I was told to go and look at this particular console right here, and we've got Seamoth. I can change the submarine name right here, so I think we'll change this one to Billy. Um, there we go. Right, so we got Billy No Mates right there. Actually, let's let's call him that because we're on our own on this planet, aren't we? So let's um, Billy No Mates. <laughs> there we go. Right, so he's called Billy No Mates. Um, that's that's the name. We got interior there, a submarine color. I can change its color. Right, uh, stripe one. I'm gonna go for a kind of pinkish purple stripe like that. Base. Oh, that's the base color there. And. Oh right! Now I'm looking. Look, see, look at it. Look at it go over there. Let's go for black. Let's go. Let's go for dark down there. Um. <gasps> ooh, we can go right up through the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Who wants a bright pink ship? 
Um, okay, um, no, bright red. I think we'll go for bright red. We'll, let's 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 make this one stand out. And then we got a stripe over here, and I can bring that one up. So we don't want that. We want a yellow stripe. Yellow and red. This is brilliant. And I'm going to keep the interior in white. We'll keep it like that. Uh, done. Fantastic. Ah, what happened to the stripe? That's not the colour I selected. That's hideous. Um, oh, I see. You, you don't even have to, like, select the console. You just kind of click on it. Um, so, interior, we can... Ah, uh, right. It's the, it's the console down the bottom. I'm going to put that as a darker one there so that it goes like that. And then the stripe here is the bit that I want to I, I work on. I can see the stripe now. There we go. I want I want a yellow stripe. Where do I get yellow from? It's very difficult to get through the... The colours here. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of going through there. It, it doesn't seem to be wanting to go to yellow very easily. I was want yellow. Why won't you? Why won't you do yellow? There. Look, see, there's yellow. That's really weird. It won't actually go to yellow properly. All right, we'll go for. We could go for like a, a purpley green. No, the, the, see, the green is very weird color. Let's let's go for purple. We'll do that. Done. There we go. And now we'll take a look. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. This is very cool. <laughs> it even says it on the side. Billy No Mates. Fantastic. Right, let's take Billy No Mates off for a little ride. And uh, I'm loving the blue that we got around the edge. All systems online. This is really cool. <laughs> I didn't realize we could have so much like in depth. See, we got orange for home. And then the the um the cyclops should be yellow. If I, if I back away from the cyclops a bit, let's go over here. Um, oh oh there doesn't show up very well. That doesn't. I'm thinking that we may regret that. So let's go back into the beacon manager, and we won't have those as yellow. Is red better? Um, not sure. Ah, now we're now we're talking. That that does actually look a bit better. I come down over here, a bit further away, yeah. I think I can see that a little bit easier. I'm just thinking about when I'm, like, um, stuck somewhere and I'm desperately looking for my seam off. What do I do? What do I do? And then that should be all right. So there we go. We go up here. And then it grabbed me. I love the sound that this one makes. It's just wickedly cool. Uh, let's just repair that one. Can't repair it. Huh. All right, let's go in here a minute. Now let it launch me like that, and I'll climb out. All systems online. And I'll repair it like that. I want it fully repaired. There. Yeah. That's better. Right now we enter in here, and I'll just go straight back up like this, sort of. There we go. Come out. Oh, he didn't. He's, he's not going to speak to me again. I was hoping he would speak to me again. So cool. Uh, right, so we've got uh, external floodlights on and off. I'm going to have those on now. And we've got internal lighting. I'll leave that on as well. We've got the same on here. I can change the name. What do I call this one? Um, Big Bill. Well, we've got Billy No Mates over there. So we, we may as well go with Billy something. Um, so we'll just... Uh, we'll, Let's go for Big Billy. Uh, Big Billy. There we go. So we got Big Billy up there. And Stripe 1. Oh, the base color is white. I'm going to leave this one for a minute. I'm, I'm not going to change the color of it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to mess. I'm, I'm not going to interfere. So is there anything else that we can do over here? Now, we want the proposed Degassi habitat. That is where I want to go. So I'm going to pilot the sub. I'm very excited about this. This is our first time that we've ever done this. We're at 42 meters. We can only go to 500 meters. Oh, hang on. Exit. Uh, there was... Where's the upgrades? i got to go through here. What's this? Oh, that's for Billy No Mates. I don't, I don't need to worry about that. Right. Open decoy loading tube. Uh, I'm going to ignore that. There is that one. Here we go. Access the upgrades. Right. Uh, I've got engine efficiency. Recycles heat by product to increase engine efficiency okay 
I can't make any... I, you can't make the upgrades in here, can you? No. Uh, and the actual upgrade that I'm thinking of is... Oh, I got it. Oh, upgrade fabricator. Here we go. Ideal. Cyclops and benzene and polyaniline. I can't. I, I can't do either of those. That's no good. Depth module. There. I can't. I can't make it. No. Right. We'll have to hope that the either prepare, the Degassi habitat or the other one is going to give us what we need. Let's go, pilot. Engine powering up. Oh, I love this thing. It's so cool. Right. Um. A head slow. A head standard. A head standard. Let's go ahead standard for a minute. So we've got there's CTO's CTO use life pod. There's our base over there. I really don't want to drive into. I, actually, I do. I want to drive this one at full speed straight into our base just to find out what happens. But at the same time, I really, really don't want to because um, we we put a lot of work into building this. Um, and not only the base but also the Cyclops as well. And I don't really want to destroy them both. I think that would be a bad idea. Right, so if we come around this way, I think this is the way that we want to go. Um, I got this. The island is over that way. So I think we can sort of squeeze out through here. What was that? Uh, don't know. Right, that's hull integrity. Power. Yeah, that's all good. Um, I think that we, we're going to want to go a bit faster than this, but I mean, at, at the moment, I'm looking around and I'm thinking faster's probably not the best idea because of how slow it could be. So we go up this way. And, yeah, there's the proposed habitat. Now, C is how you lower this one down. I see nothing in front of me at the moment. What's that? What's that? I don't get it. Um, I, I, I'm confused. What does that mean? It was, it was flashing something at me. Does it mean that there's like some? Is there something close by? I got the, oh, the engine's running at the moment, isn't it? Let me go. I'm gonna jump into the sea moth, and we'll see if that will help me out a bit. Oh. All systems oh, right, right. We've just hit, you know, as soon as we dropped, I sort of looked and I was like, uh-oh, something really, really bad is about to happen to me. I mean, like, major, major bad. Um, and I, I don't want it to, so. Uh, oh, no, I'm just bouncing into the Cyclops at the moment. And the Cyclops is resting on the back over there. Uh, I want some, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm also nervous that my poor Cyclops is going to take a beating in a minute. We can build another one. We can build another one. So the, the warning was that there was something close to the tail. So I, I know that now. It's okay. I'm familiar. I'm, I'm getting some familiarity with this thing. There we go. So I'm going to come out this way, and I'm just going ahead standard. I'm not going ahead fast or anything. And I'm going to stop right there. And then we're going to turn. I see. I should have just looked over to the side here, because I could sort of see everything there. Right, where is this proposed Degassi habitat? It's down there, isn't it? Right. Let's start lowering ourselves down into the water a bit. Okay, we've got we've got some caves and stuff over there. We'll back up this way and right, looking at the I'm guessing that does that show us what is close by? I hope it does. I hope that's the whole point of that thing. Now look, I've got there doesn't seem to be anything coming up on his red rig for silent running. I don't know what that is, and that's um the, the torpedo thing, isn't it? Let's turn. Yeah, look, see, I've got that there coming up, but I've got nothing showing on this bit over here. I'm about to hit something. Let's go up a bit. Let's 
go this way. I'm gonna come over here, do I? Which way are we? We're 150 meters in depth. It's very, very dark. I don't want to be doing this at night time. This is what's making me so nervous. Um, Degassi Habitat, 399 meters over there. Let's turn. I'm not getting it. Oh, there's the there's the edge of the cliff. And the Degassi Habitat is down there. So let's start lowering it down again. There we go. There we go. Oh, I just hit something. All right, let's bring it back up. I don't want to be sitting this one on the bottom. Last thing I want to do is have this one um, sink into the waves. Right? There's 371 meters below us. That bit there on the side doesn't seem to be helping us out very much. So how do I get into the area where the proposed Degassi habitat is? Is it... Oh, hang on. No, I think it might be in through there. Is there like a cave around here somewhere? Uh, I don't know. We are 181 meters down. It's actually a long way down, that is. Right, I'm going to go up a little bit more so that i got room to like drop my sub out the bottom. And then I think we're going to go using the small one. So we want to power down the engine. Engine powering down. Come out of there. And I do wonder if I should turn the floodlights off. I think maybe it would be better if I did. If I turn those floodlights off. Um, light is on its way by the look of it. So we should be alright as far as that's concerned. So let's go back up through here and we can jump into this one. I'm very nervous about this because I did see some big nasty things. Biodiversity is low. Cause unknown. Now I get nervous in this game. Things come out and they attack us for no apparent reason. I get the feeling that something is going to come and eat us. I reckon we are not going to make it out of this one alive. I don't know why. I just got me a feeling. Um, I want to get to... It's not you. It's... How do I get to you? It's it, uh, there. The, where, where is it? There it is. Proposed Degassi Habitat is underneath us. So there's got to be a cave entrance around here somewhere. Uh-oh. No! That's one of those warper things. Ah, uh, right. So long, as I, so long as I keep moving, it seems to be all right. But there's a definite warper there. I'm just going to have to keep walk. I'm going to have to keep moving. So long as I keep moving and I don't stop, I should be all right. So I come down here. Uh, 260 meters. It's that... He didn't seem... To, yeah, so long as I keep moving. I reckon we ca we're going to be okay. What's that? I don't know. Where is he? And I've got a cave under here. There's... Oh, no. That's not the one I'm looking for. Where is this? Where's the Degassi habitat? There's something there. Is that it? Nope. Uh, I've lost... I've lost my marker. This is, this is not good. I've lost everything. I've got that one there. Oh, there's the Cyclops, so it's, it's over this way somewhere. That's... See, that's the, the life pod there. Mushroom vent. Sunk to the ocean floor, and there's the life pod. Where's the bit that I'm looking for? Oh, it's underneath me. There. It's right underneath me. Um, but I don't see that warper here anymore. So I'm going to get out, and I'm going to see what that is. That might be the nuclear reactor. I do need a nuclear reactor. Hope and pray, ladies and gentlemen. Hope and pray. I was getting... Uh, when I jump out, I get really a thermal plant. Um, I, yeah, I, I do get rather nervous because... Um, you sort of see... You see your own shadow in front of the lights. And you sort of start to think, oh, maybe that's um, not actually my own shadow. Maybe there's something a lot, lot worse than my own shadow, which I, I don't really want. Um, okay, so we've got this... Not... Is it there? 500 meters. No. Ooh! That is something that we want. And I'll scan it first. 
so that hopefully our scanner room is able to do something with this. But yo, Ruby! Finally, we got a Ruby! Another one over there. Geological data, Ruby. I grab you as well. Uh, let me go to that. Now, is there anything else around here? Oh, hang on. No, there's a cave down there. That's a cave system. That I might actually be able to use. If I can get underneath, we can get down to there, which is the proposed Degassi habitat. I've got 500 meter dive depth on the sea moth. So we should be good with the sea moth. We can use that one. Are there any more rubies around here? What's that? It's a creature egg. I don't want that. Um, we did see that one warper, but I haven't seen any others. The moment... I'm becoming more confident. I'm becoming more confident. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's, let's not hang around too much. So it's down this way. I'm going to go down this way, but I can, I've got 500 meters is the, um, the maximum that I can dive. Am I going to regret coming down here? Am I going to start screaming like a little girl again? Um, what is going on? There's things squealing in the darkness that really I don't like. Uh, there we go, the proposed Degassi habitat. Let's have a look around. There was something that was like squealing and screaming at me. Um, what's that? What is it? Um, is it? Uh, no, no, it's trying to eat me. It's trying to eat me. I don't want to die. Please don't eat me. <laughs> A titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Titanium mass. What is that thing? Um. Ah, there's another one. What, what what is this thing uh a hundred that's a hundred are, are they fighting me are they fighting each other what is those things it's gone right into the cliff I'm not get no I'm not getting out to go and scan it are you insane I know I'm and yeah I can hear you talking to me through the video you're watching it you say go and scan it go on frith go on just go and see what it is are you nuts it's not happening but I didn't take any damage. Is my is, is that whole reinforcement thing? Is that helped? Right, I've got to I've got to sum up some courage now. I get down there. I'm staying up here about four seven seven because um I don't want to actually uh, have my uh, thingy destroyed. But let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, what do we got? I grab that one. Why am I running around with a, a repair tool? This this is what I want. Can I get in there? I don't think I can. I wanna, um, I, I, I wanna get into this. Oh, there we go. There, I, I can get in here. I, I reckon I can be safe in here. Okay, so I got one scan, a uh, one PDA. Nothing in there. Right, let's go into this room. We, we, we're gonna have some stuff in here. There's a coffee maker. There's always time for coffee, isn't there? Always time for coffee. That is a, a bottle of booze. Um, we don't want a bottle of booze. Uh, do like that. I can see things a bit better. Uh, we've got a carry-all. I don't want a carry-all. Got uh, the abandoned PDA. Uh, no. I just want the light. There. Right. Abandoned PDA. Download data. There we go. Voice log. Uh, data box. Swim charge fins. Excellent. How are we doing for oxygen? 150 oxygen. Uh... Is there anything else? So we got we had a couple of beds in here. I'm sure that there was like an extra room in this one. I'm sure that we were able to go up somewhere. Or was it down? Maybe it was down. I don't see a down. I don't oh. There is there is an up here. How do I how do I get up there? Have I gotta build my way up, maybe? Is that what I gotta do? 120. Uh no, I don't actually see a way to get up into the next room. This is very weird. I'm going to go to the base builder a minute, and maybe that's what i got to do. Maybe, maybe, except that the habitat builder, even if I do use this, um, I, can't see that, I can't see that we're going to be doing that in here. Interior pieces, titanium. Um, nope, nope, nope. It's definitely not that. That's not the way to do this. Right. 
go back. Yeah, I'm also going to have to take uh, seek flu uh, oxygen intake. I need food intake as well. I got diamonds. I can't believe I got diamonds at last. Right, so I can't go that way. I've explored this particular room. There doesn't seem to be anything in there. Um, nothing up there. So let's go out of this side. I'll go through here. Uh, there's there's bits on the sides. There's three levels on that one that I want to get to. Where's my sea moth? Where's my sea moth? It's up there. I need oxygen. Let's go back into you. Let's go and sit in here. And that crazy thing with... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know where that crazy thing is gone. It seems to be leaving me alone at the moment. So we need to get back... Oh, I can, it looks like there. I can see on the base now. I can see where i got to go. Right. Um, I just want light on this thing. There, I've just got lights. Okay, what well, that that crazy thing doesn't seem to be here anymore. But it was here. And it was very concerning. I didn't like it. Let me just look down here. I just want to have a quick look around. There seem to be anything coming after me at the moment. See if there's anything else on this platform. Have we got anything here? No. So I need to get into there, which is through this one. I got stuff I can scan in here. Must be that, uh, is it that alien thing there? I think it's this one. Alien containment. Okay. Uh, while I'm in here, I'm actually going to use the flashlight. I'll put that one in there. There we go. Now I can see properly. Right. So we've got alien containment as one of the things in here. How do I get down to the next level? There's one more level below me that I actually want to get to. I've got... There we go. I've got uh, another data box. What's in here? Cyclops shield generator. Fantastic. That is something that I need. This is brilliant. We actually get... Oh, there. There's how I get into the next level. I'll do that in a minute. Let's go through to this side. What have we got? There's another PDA. Take you. Disaster. Manual there. No, I don't want that. Um, there's nothing else in here that is any good to me. So then we can go into here. We're going to come down into this room. And I bet you there's going to be some more stuff. Yep, we've got an abandoned PDA. We've got a lot of those to look through. Fluid analyzer. Um, achievement sea monsters that just came up for the Steam achievements. Uh, microscope non functional orange tablet. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what an orange tablet is, but I'm guessing it's going to be useful and um, important. Uh, there's a creature egg there. I don't really care about that one. I'm sure it will be. U it, it may well be useful. I'm looking around to see if there's anything else that we could possibly want while we're here. I don't want a microscope. I think we've got anything else that I need to take with me. I think I have explored everything that is in here, everything that is available. I've gone through into those two rooms on the side, and I see nothing else out here. Let's go and have a look, a little look around. Is there anything up on the roof? There shouldn't be anything else around. Uh, nothing out that side. Nothing out there. And now I'm more concerned about those great big monsters, but that's a long way down, and I can't dive any further with my... Sea moth, which is over here. So let's go to Billy No Mates over here and on board. I, I keep pressing the wrong button. Right, let's, let's not worry about it now. Let's get on board, Welcome shall we? Board, Captain. Okay, that was interesting. And there was a very. There, it's that freaky thing again. What is that thing? There's no way I'm going over there and I'm scanning it. Somebody will have to tell me what it is because, no, I'm not scanning that. Yeah, and it's doing that. Right, switch. So uh, what? No! <gasps> no way. Oh. Okay, I don't really know what happened, but I it drained all that green spark thing, drained all of my power, and then I got my power back again. So I'm not really sure why I got all my power back. I'm guessing when it hit me again, it gave me my power back, but uh, I kind of need to get out of here. And... I don't actually know where the surface is. Is it up here? Please be up here. Please. Um, this might be easier said than done. 
<laughs> oh dear. There is extensive cave networks under here, but um, none of them are leading me to the surface. I, I desperately need to go to the surface now. That's home that way. 455 meters down. I should have perhaps been a little bit more careful about leave, leaving a, a, a like anything to help me find my way back. Uh, if I look up there, all oh, right, the Cyclops is there. So maybe it's, is it this way? I can't go any more, no, I can't go down any further and I don't think I went down to 500 meters depth in order to get in here. I didn't, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't have to go below the 500 or even close to it in order to get out, uh, in order to get in, rather. I'm lost! I'm lost! I'm scared! I don't like being in- uh, Now I got a- I got a warper chasing me as well now! Just to add insult to injury, everything is poss- Everything that could go wrong is gonna go wrong now, isn't it? Everything! I could- s Yeah, you can hear the warper. There's that- The brain thing over there. That's just- There's another one there. Oh, there! Exit! Exit! I gotta- I gotta beat him! I gotta beat him, just go, 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 go! No, he's gonna... I'm gonna die! I don't want to die! I don't like this game anymore! I don't like it! I, I wanna go home! I want... Please! I just want my mummy! Um... What is that? Oh, no, that's nothing. Right, I got two rubies, though. I did get two rubies. So, we, we, we've made some progress. I got two rubies. Be a... Despite everything else, despite all the hardships that we have faced, suddenly this game is not so bad anymore. And I got another ruby over here. I got a ruby. As long as I can get it without something eating me. There. Did you see my shadow on the wall? That bit terrifies me. Every time, I'm certain it's like a warper or something evil and wicked and just designed to try to hurt me in every possible way. Um, That is deep down there. Right. I've got some upgrades. I've got all kinds of information to deal with as well. Now, we're going to head back over there to Big Billy. I'm going to go up over this way. I'm just going to check for any sign of... There's Big Billy. I'm just looking around to see if there's any more uh, rubies. If I can see any more rubies, I will grab them. i got three now. So I can make Aerogel, which means I can make the Prawn Suit. And I can also make... Uh, I think I'm making Depth Upgrade for this one. I may be able to make some other depth upgrades as well. While we're up here, let's just search this area here. There's, there's that brain thing. I don't really know what those are for. They, they make me nervous. If I go over to it, is it gonna? I've got rubies. I got rubies, dude. I got rubies. I'm gonna come over here. I'm thinking that um, you know, it, it would be prudent if I just get out of here. There we go. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Captain. Systems online. Oh yeah. That's better. Right. Uh I've got a fabricator over here. I've got a blueprint now, so I may be able to make something. Depth module, ingredients unknown. That one that I got. Shield generator, polyanilines, power cell, yeah, see. Kyanite. Okay, this is all stuff that I, it's very strange and unfamiliar to me. But I do have rubies. Rubies are good. Uh, where do I go now? Right, let me just take it. Let's, let's just take stock a minute. We've got three rubies on us. I've got no food. I've got an orange tablet. So I want to see what the data bank says about that. Geological data, ruby, hard blood, red gem, so made of aluminium oxide. Rubies may be processed in order to leverage their structural integrity in advanced vehicle construction and modification. Essential for advanced fabrication. That's great and all. Degassi survivors, we've got four of these. Let me just move so that I don't have that annoying yellow light there. Uh, malady, risk-taking, disaster, and Paul Torgel's log at the end. Let's take a look at Paul Torgel's log a minute. And the monster turned and bore down on me. Just as its tentacles came within reach, Mather appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her... She had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then, 
I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Oh, it didn't end well for Paul Torgel. Uh, let's go and see what these other ones are then. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Okay, so they've established that they've got the alien bacteria and so on. We need to find out what else is going on with this. What are you so happy about, Mida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or it got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Uh, seems that Margaret is a bit of a risk taker. Intake recommended. We only have 20 calories. Yeah, we, we need to do something about that. Uh, let's just listen to this last one here. Disaster. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Well, I'm guessing that the Leviathan they brought in didn't, um, it, it didn't end well. You, you don't really want to go bringing in Leviathans, do you? That's, that's never going to go well for you. Uh, so we can make a water filtration machine at long last, and there's a few other things that we want to do as well. Cyclops, I can't do that. I don't know how to make the polyaniline. Um, but we've, we've made so much progress. We are doing things. We're, we're getting there. Uh, what do I want to do? I, I need food. I do need some food pretty quickly, so we want the engine power up the engine. Up. Love this thing. I love this thing. It's fantastic. Absolutely awesome. I genuinely love it. What is that? Is that a... Hang on. Down there. Is that a wreck? I think that is a wreck. Okay. Let me go on to here. I reckon that I can pilot this... If, if I power down the engine a minute. Now come out of there. And... Right. First I'm going to go in here. And I'm just going to drink some water. That's the last of our water. I can quite easily get fish. I can jump down in here, I can disembark, but I just want to have a look. All 
I hold my breath because that sound as I drop into the water sounds very much like a leviathan. Um, but no, there is a large wreck over here. A big piece of ship. And there's actually a couple of pieces together. So if I bring this one in over here like this, I'll jump out. No, I don't want to do that. I want to jump out and go to you. I want to go to that one. And then I want to harvest a couple of these. There. Pick up the cooked peeper. And then there's another uh, spade fish over there if I grab that one a minute. There we go. And I'll pick that one up. Right, that is a little bit of sustenance. Eat that one. It would help if I ate it rather than throwing it on the ground. Pick you up. And eat you. So there's a bit of H2O and some food. Uh, go and get another one. There we go. Having this knife is absolutely brilliant. So there is food being taken care of. I'm going to get one more. I'll get a peeper this time if I can. Um, that one looks much more infected than the other ones. I'm going to eat that one just because, you know, look, look at the infection on it. Uh, I've just, I didn't mean to do that. How do I drop it? Do it like that. Uh, he's, he's swimming again. There, I'll do that. Then I can pick him up and he's all cooked. Ready to go. Right, that's better. Now we're, we're completely full on everything. So the next thing that we want is we're going to have us, we're going to start having us a look around and we're going to see if there's anything here to scan. There's a bit there, thermal plant, which we've already got. I'm going to scan everything. Suit torpedo arm. That's a new one. There we go. Um, I want to get into this piece here on the side. And once we're into there, what else we got? What are you? Yeah, you're nothing to scan. I'm also aware that something very, very nasty may come up there. And I, I am aware of that. There may be warpers. Them, the, yeah, we, we, we're going to be lucky to get out of here alive. There's another moon pool fragment there. At least we're getting plenty of um, titanium. Titanium's always good. We, we can always use titanium. But if I can get some of these other bits as well. We've got a, a torpedo arm right there. Um... No, I would like to have a look around, see if maybe we can find some clues as to uh, some of these upgrade, upgraded bits of equipment we got there. Open the supply crate. What is that? Disinfected water. That's quite handy. Uh, you know what? I think if I go like that. There we go. Now I can see we have light. Light stick. What's the light stick for? Okay, swim charge fins. Wirelessly charge your held tool while you swim so then you don't need to worry so much about batteries light stick there i'm not really sure what the light stick does or is for we will find out there's nothing on there light let's have some light we will have a little look around have we got anything up oh, there uh what is that modification station again i'll grab that it's just going to be a bit more titanium but titanium is always useful as we've said many many times what do we got up there there's nothing there I... 30 seconds uh oh Oh yeah, I spent so long chasing the fish, and then I didn't worry about going back and getting more oxygen. So let's go in here, see him off, just recharge our oxygen a minute, and is it just one room in? Oh no, there's another room underneath. It's, it does look like there's two rooms in there. Let's see now. No, I go into that one. What's that up there? Oh, uh, they're there. We can get up, we can go through the sealed door here. Uh, I want to go to here, and laser cutter... Like that, and then laser cut my way through. There we go, just about done. And that will fall down with a mighty clonk. Showering us with molten metal, which is just what you want. First thing in the morning. Um, I'm going to change over... I'm going to change over the cutter again, so that I can just see what I'm doing. So we've got a supply crate there. <gasps> a nutrient block! I love nutrient blocks, they're so good, they last so long, they're so awesome. Uh, is there anything else up here? Oh, there we go, a data box. What have you got? Please be something good. Reinforced dive suit. That is the power cell charger. I was looking for that. We spent ages looking for that. I mean, it's no good to us at the moment. Light stick fragment. There we go. I can find out what this light stick is. I don't even know what it is yet. That's what I wanted to find out. That's something I was looking at. Uh, deployable lighting. Oh, I see. We just like, kind of chuck it out. All right. No, we'll ignore that. Um, not there. Prawn suit torpedo arm. Alright, I don't need to worry about that. Uh, no, I'm looking for the suit upgrade. 
Where's the, the reinforced suit? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Reinforced dive suit. Synthetic fibers. I don't know how to make synthetic fibers. Uh, that's not on here. Uh. There is a lot of stuff that we are not yet able to make. Now, I, I'm, I had, I got a scan here. So, oh, there's another light stick fragment. That's why. Um, so I'll grab the titanium for that. Have we got anything else in here while we're around? Doesn't look like it. I think that is the last of it. It's the last of the cool things. Can I get out this way? No. Okay. We have got everything in that piece of ship. We got another piece of ship over here. Um, somewhere. Oh, I got that one. Oh, it's up there. Right. Let's go and re let's go and recharge the oxygen. We can jump back in. And as soon as that's recharged. Where am I going? It was up on the hill, wasn't it? Ah, there. Right, so I got this big piece here, and then there's a piece up over there as well. I got fiber mesh that I can use. It's not going to do me any good at the moment. There. Like that. Right, now let's go in under here. I've got another piece of the uh, prawn suit torpedo arm. That. What is that? That's a radio. Another moon pool fragment. Uh, prawn suit torpedo arm. Okay, i got quite a lot of bits there. I'm going to leave them because I don't actually need them at all. They're not going to benefit me. Um, there's another piece over there, which is thermal plant. I've got that already. I heard some sort of roaring just then. I'm a little bit nervous about it. Thermal plant. That's nothing. Um, again, with moon pool. Right, there's... Is that like an actual... Yeah, I, do, I think I want to go in there, don't I? Seal door, cut to open. Um, yes, I've got one more bit in there that I want to get to. This may have something useful. So we'll chop our way in there. Go back to uh, laser cutter. There we go. And... I hope if I went the right way on it, I suppose. Right, let's chop our way into this one. Uh, I want to get through that. This might be interesting. Let's get the light. I'm gonna need that. Let's get that light. Oh, I could just shove my way through. Okay, we've got another data box, which is gonna give me Cyclops fire suppression system. Excellent, thank you very much. That is a small sample flower, I don't want that. Uh, modification station. Yeah, I'll grab everything is in here so that I don't have this um, thing, uh, another modification station fragment. I could have done with this a little while ago. I really could. Microscope, sealed door there. Uh, what's up this way? Oh, we got we got more that we can... Oh, no, there, there is no more that we can go into. Except that... Um, oh. uh, <laughs> I thought for a moment I was going to be stuck inside this thing until I ran out of oxygen and just slowly choked. That was That's not how I envisaged going. That was, that's not the way to die. I mean, I, I have died running out of oxygen before, but I didn't really want it to be like that sort of ignominious. It, it, it definitely didn't seem to be a, an excellent way to go, really, did it? Um, let me scan that. How much space have I got left in my bag? No more space. Right, in which case, let's go. Go into the sea moth, and where is my Cyclops? There is Big Billy over there. So we'll take Billy No Mates back to Big Billy, and I don't know where to go from here. Whether we go back, I think we ought to go back home to our base, because I don't think the Cyclops has got storage on it. If we've got storage here on the Cyclops, I could just store the stuff on here. Captain. Systems online. Let's have a look. Maybe I could, can I build storage in here? If I can build a bit of storage in here, look, I got I got all this space look on this wall. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can build some storage here. Go to Habitat Builder, like that, and then go to you, and I we got a bulkhead there, alien containment, interior modules. I got the, the power cell charger, um, the plant stuff, and then over here we've got the picture frame and we've got the office chair. I don't really need those at the moment. Uh, no, no, no. What I'm looking for is interior pieces. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Wall locker. Small wall-mounted storage system. Locker. 
large priest. I need quartz for that, but I can do this one with titanium. And I can put it on the wall. Ideal. Right, well, I'll put one on there. And I'll do another one right beside it. Bit roughly right. There we go. Put that one in there. I've got two wall lockers. And so then I can... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I just want to go open locker. And then I can drop in all this titanium. Like this. And I'll drop in the rubies and the ion cube. And we've got an orange tablet there. Two purple tablets. I've got the nutrient block. I'm going to hold that just in case I want it. Okay, I'm pleased with this. This is looking good. We're home from home, we are. I guess that's the idea of the Cyclops. It is like a home from home. It's not a situation where you go out and do everything all at once and then come rushing back in. No, you, you've got to spend a bit of time. We need to go to CTOU's Life Pod. That is one that I want to go to. And also that one there, Life Pod 12. Sunk to the, uh, to, to the ocean bed. So we're going to go to both those. We're going to go to that one first because that one sort of looks to be closest. Um... And we'll make our way over there. But that's going to have to be next time. We are running out of time. I've, I've used up all my time available today. Which wasn't actually part of the master plan. I was... I was Orange tablet. Iron cube and nickel ore. I don't have any nickel. So much stuff here. I don't know what to do with it. Diamond synthetic fibers. Heavy synthetic fiber dive suit providing physical protection. And enhanced survival in extreme in, uh, temperatures. So we'll be able to go into like the hot places. Um, very cool. Okay, uh, I think that we ought to stop right here and we will carry on with our epic journey next time. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. I'm just having a look. Uh, oh, I need polyaniline for that. And I want the depth module as well, but we've not found that one yet. Hopefully one of the other... Um, modules will um, help us out with that. We've got module 12, life pod 12 and CTO's life pod as well. Hopefully one of those will have the depth upgrade. Should be really good. Uh, Billy no mates. It's busy charging. Yeah. Um, so, yep, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.